Hello and welcome. This is Frida, your Thinkologist. Today we're going to look at where and how to find solutions to repeat patterns of problems that we keep finding that shows up in our lives and how to deal with that once and for all. This may sound very strange to you, but the world is really merely a reflection. The rest of our understanding and perception and feeling and living happens on the inside of us, stemming from our filters, our beliefs, and the way we see the world. So if we want to find solutions of that reflection that we are finding it's showing up in our lives, we need to look inward. Problems feel like they are on the outside of us. It's my partner. It's my family. It's my manager. It's the world. It's my job. It's my children. It's my financial situation. But in truth, the place where the feeling state exists, the place where the discomfort lives, the place where the inner peace is not present, is on your inside. I always refer to that as the world behind your eyes. And that is the place where we need to work from there going forward to find solutions and also to reach that very unicorn-like elusive state of mind called inner peace and the other (laughs) almost ancient desire of every human, happiness. The state of happiness is not found from experiences on the outside. The state of happiness is a way of thinking. It is most often not what we think, but how we think that leads us down a labyrinth of unhappiness, discontent, fear, anxiety, uncertainty, repeat patterns of self-doubt, hatred, lack of self-esteem, and so many other things, fear of abandonment, for example. I work with so many people that have problems, but whose biggest enemy lives in their mind because they are filtering the whole world through their way of need and through their way of seeing only lack. And that leads them to over and over and over putting their mind literally in the flaming space of unhappiness. And it is in fact possible to change that. It does take work, but then again, so does everything. We brush our teeth every day, sometimes more than once. Why is it that we're so reluctant to work on our thinking every day and more than once? Let me introduce you to the one and only tool that you can have at your disposal from this very minute for the very rest of your life if you are open and willing to really see that the job is yours. The amount of exercise you do with that very job will predict the outcomes you get. And you know, we all fall off the wagon from time to time. And we all need to get back up on it. And it's the same with mastering our inner world. It's the same with how we think. We need to first reflect on what's going on, on the inside of our mind. What is our thoughts like? Are they light and happy? Are they investigative and analytical? Do they simply go unquestioned, unlabeled, not at all understood, Aside from an awareness of discomfort that you're constantly feeling, trying to drink it away, trying to shop it away, trying to pray it away, there's so many things that people do in an attempt to avoid the self. But it is the self, that world behind your eyes, that is the place where you spend absolutely every living minute of your life. And my wish is that it would be a worthwhile place for you to live and that it would be a place that you can go to where there is peace, where there is healing, 
where there is rejuvenation, where there is freedom, and where there is incredible awareness of the beauty of this planet. So walk with me. Let me get you there. So here's the good news and the bad news. Just like with going to the gym, the number of repetitions you do of something makes you stronger. So with a brain, it works like building a neural net. So if I think a thought for the first time, it is tentative, it feels difficult, but the more times I think it, the stronger that little neural net becomes and it forms a bridge. Just like a guy's muscles would build with a lot of repetitions and then stronger weights and heavier weights. The same thing happens in our mind. And yes, it does happen that things on the outside derail us from that bridge, only meaning that, no, no, there's nothing wrong. Just get back on the bridge. Allow the older patterns to fade and dismantle and by repetition, make the new thoughts that you're imprinting on your mind stronger by repeating them. So it's your kind of mental gym, basically. So let's say you have a suspicious experience. You do not trust your partner. You're afraid they might be cheating on you. And you have these anxious thoughts that invoke all sorts of paranoid additional thoughts in your mind. You can choose to calm it by telling yourself, I'm aware of this. This is an old pattern. It is a fear. I understand that. The fear is trying to help me. But I have no proof and no reason to be doubtful and be fearful. And besides, I cannot control another human being, nor can I own another human being. And this is just one example. If you want more examples, throw me a message on YouTube. I'd be more than happy to get the conversation going about how you can challenge a certain way of thinking or a certain thought pattern. It can help so many other people as well. So remember, if you become aware of, let's say, suspiciousness in you, the way to change it is by replacement and repetition. And repetition will eventually lead to mastery. And once you get to that state of no longer believing that fearful thought that you've had before, you will find a deep exhale occurring on your inner world and there will be peace. It will be a place of, oh yeah, that was only a spooky thought. I no longer need to believe it. If it shows up, I can just scoot it away because it is not true. So we tend to often fall for all sorts of false beliefs. The world is going to come to an end. Um, people are essentially bad. The world is a horrible place. All those thoughts can easily be replaced by you choosing to make your inner world more beautiful. And I hope you try this and I hope you practice this. And I'd love to hear from you and how you're doing and how you're progressing. And as I said, if you have questions, be, be welcome. Feel free to share that with me.